guys welcome back to my channel what I have for you today is a Dollar Tree DIY for fall I'm really excited and I wanted to show you Maggie she's feeling a little shy say I was asleep and mama woke me up <laughs> excuse me I'm trying to get a sore throat so I don't know what's going on with that so my voice is coming and going mm. Mama loves you. Okay, so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this really cute Dollar Tree Fall DIY. I think it is going to be adorable. <clears throat> You're going to need one of these wooden trucks from the Dollar Tree. I hope you all were able to get it. All right, and then you're going to need four of these little slats from the Dollar Tree that are just wooden slats. Okay, then you're going to need some Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need four of three of these little wooden pieces that you can get in the Dollar Tree. And you get quite a few in a pack. I can't remember how many. And then probably a bale of hay from the Dollar Tree. And probably some of these little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use the cream. You could use the other colors if you wanted. And then I may incorporate this that I've had in my stash. I got it at Walmart last year. I think it was like 98 cents, something like that. Uh, and Or a dollar something. I can't remember. And then you're going to need two tops off of a pomegranate juice jar or any kind of jar like that. Um, and all the pomegranate juice jars, the lids are the same. I have the tall and the small. And the, either both of these came off of separate ones, and they're the exact same size. We're going to use this for, like, um, some wheels. Then I had my husband just cut me a piece of plywood that's just longer than everything, and I'll show you that in a minute, just to have a nice sturdy base. And then I'm going to be using my little jars I got from the Dollar Tree to keep my brushes in. I really do recommend that. And then I'm going to be using some Apple Barrel Gloss Red Paint because I love the red trucks for fall or Christmas. And the Apple Barrel Black Paint. And then probably the Apple Barrel Spiced Carrot and definitely the jack-o'-lantern. And I got all my paint from Walmart. I've had it for a long time. Uh, and then the Apple Barrel Burnt Umber. And I might use the Candy Apple Red. I'm not sure from Apple Barrel. And then the Nutmeg Brown, okay? Then you're going to need a hot glue gun and or E6000. I'm not going to use the E6000. And then this to put your paint down with, and then this brush for dry brushing. But this is going to be so adorable. I'm really excited, and I know you're going to love it. So let me go ahead and flip the camera down, and we'll get started with this really cute fall DIY dealing with the red truck from the Dollar Tree. Okay, first of all, I'm going to use the Burnt Umber from Apple Barrel. And I'm just going to paint this uh, wood here that I had my husband cut me, these little wooden planks. And I think this with all that really dark burnt umber, but we'll see in case I change my mind. Sometimes I do. All right. And I'm just going to put it out. You could prime these first by putting some gesso or something on it if you want, but I'm not going to. And I'm not going to have you watch me paint all this because I know you know what I'm doing. But this is the look that I'm going for. It's really like a deep chocolate brown. So once I get all this stuff painted, then I'll be back. Okay, I've painted this and painted on all sides. I've painted these with that really pretty burnt umber. I love it. And then I painted these. I just think they're so cute, okay? Now you can paint four of these. I don't think you're going to see that much of the Jenga blocks. I'm just basically using them to elevate this little um, 
part of the truck that I'm going to make. You can paint them if you want or you don't have to. Now I think I've decided I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in mineral, pour just a small amount out, that was really too much, and then get this brush. Okay, you can dry these with a hair dryer. I didn't. Just put some of that on there and then just wipe that on there because I want this to just look like an old part of a truck that has been hauling pumpkins for a long, long time. <laughs> okay, and I'm not going to have you watch me do this. But this is what I'm wanting. And you can put as much or as little on there as you want. And you can even come down and really give it dimension like that. I'm liking that. So I'm going to go ahead and dry brush the rest of these. And then I'll be back. Okay, now we're going to move to the truck. Okay, so I've cut my little hang tag off. And I have this Apple Barrel Gloss Red Paint. And I'm just going to pour some of this out. And we are going to paint this truck red. I love red trucks, like I've said, for fall. They remind me of my dad so much. I think I'm going to get a smaller brush right in here because I don't want to be real easy when I'm going around this. I got a little bit of red on there, but the black will cover it up, so I'm really not that worried. So I'll go back to my bigger one. But I'm not going to have you watch me paint all of this because I know you know what I'm doing. You could paint this green. You could paint the truck blue. You could do whatever you wanted. I just really love a red truck. So that's what we're doing. So when I get the truck painted red, then we'll work on the pumpkins and this little wooden area right here on the truck. And then we'll do the tires. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we have the truck painted red. I think it is so adorable. It looks so high-end. I can't believe it. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to put this back in my water. Now, right in here, you can paint this red if you want, or you can paint it another color. And I think I'm going to go ahead and paint mine red. Let's see. Just using a small little brush to go down in there. You could paint it brown if you wanted and that would work. But I decided to paint mine red, okay? So you can do it any color that you want. All right, so now what I want to do is paint these wheels. I'm gonna paint this black, and I don't know if I have silver. If I have silver, I may paint the center silver. If not, I'll paint it white. Okay, I'm gonna pour out a little bit of this black from Apple Barrel. I'm not gonna need very much. And I'm just going to get a small little brush that I had had it for a long time and I'm just going to go in here and start painting this. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. 
okay and if you wanted you could put that a different color up in there but I like the shadow that it gives being black okay so I've got that done now I'm going to do the same thing back in here and um, if you wanted you could actually let your um, black hit a little bit of this edge and it would give it a nice shadow effect so I'm not going to have you watch me paint the rest of the tires and then I'm going to go ahead and paint these caps black and then when I get finished I'll be back okay I have this done this much now what I want to do is take some brown and put it right in here and we're getting ready to have another storm and that's why Maggie's barking okay it's okay Maggie all right now I'm just going to come down through here and paint this with this brown and then when I get this finished we'll move to the pumpkin okay I have that painted now I'm just taking a little bit of that um, Waverly chalk paint and mineral and put it on this brush and I'm going to try to just sort of drag it in places so it will match my other areas and not look so perfect okay like that I love it okay so now all we need to do is paint our pumpkins okay and I'm going to start off with this spiced carrot from Apple Barrel I think I'll put it right here and we're not going to need much at all Okay, and I think I'll use this brush right here and we're just going to put some right on here because he has a big bunch of pumpkins and he is going to sell them okay that's what we're getting when I get finished painting the pumpkins then I'm going to go to these wheels and either paint them silver like the hubcaps either silver or white and then I'll be back okay so I have my truck painted I think he's so cute I took um, a little bit of brown and mixed it on those pumpkins and then a little bit of the jack-o-lantern uh, color in there to give it some dimension I just love it okay now I'm taking this right here that I had my husband cut this is optional you wouldn't even have to have this but I just wanted to and I'm placing these three pieces from the Dollar Tree on here and I'm going to elevate them and I'm going to put them in the center and try to I'm going to eyeball it so you know and I'm just going to put some hot glue on here you can use E6000 as well and I'm just going to start with the center one and I'm going to press down and then I'm just going to put these others on here I just wanted a really pretty red truck display um, because I love them so much I think they're so pretty and I thought this would be really pretty and I don't know where I'm going to put it maybe on my sofa table okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this box because this is what he's carrying the pumpkins in okay and this is how they look since I fixed them all right and what you want to do is I'm going to glue them first before I put them on here I think it would be a lot easier and we'll see how I want it I think I've decided to put the ends like this that's how I want it okay so what I'm going to do is just put some hot glue right down through here now I would suggest that you use E6000 with it as well so that you will make sure it you don't have any problems whatsoever with your outcome and make sure you get it flush but I don't think I'm going to have any problems and then we're just going to put some right down through here and we're going to line that up 
like that. And we've made this really cute little box for our pumpkins to go in, okay? So I want to put the truck right about right here. So I'm going to put some glue on these tires, or you could just put it on the wood. And I'm just going to set it, set it down here and hold it. Now you could also cut um, some of these to brace it from the back. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to have any trouble. Now, if a lot of people are going to be touching it, I would brace it. Then I cut a little piece of this um, for the trailer hitch. Now, I painted mine silver. You can paint it black, whatever color you want. And I'm going to put it from my truck to this box. Okay, and I'm going to put it about right. Well, first, I'm going to glue my box down, okay? So I'm going to put some glue right down through here to glue my box down where I want it. I'm kind of splitting the difference, okay? And that's what we're getting so far. I think that's so cute. You could even put candy in that if you wanted. Okay, now we're going to take this and glue it to this. Okay. Put a little bit there. Put a little bit there. And it will also help that truck set up some, okay? So there's his hitch. <laughs> and I got so excited, I forgot to raise the box with this. Originally, what I was going to do, and you definitely need to do this, is put this under the box so it will raise it and it will look like it's moving. But I got excited and I didn't do it. So, but you won't make that mistake, okay? So now, we're just going to put some hot glue on these wheels. That's what I get for getting so excited. <laughs> but I'd rather make a mistake than you make a mistake. Okay. Now, this is what we're getting so far. Is that not adorable? I love it. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, I was going to take some of this. What you could do is get some of that, um, I think it's raffia or some of this straw and break it up and put it in there. But since my throat is messing up so much, I'm not going to do that. So just crinkle a little bit of a brown bag and put it right in there. And then all you have to do is get your little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And put them in there and he can sell his pumpkins. I just, I love this. It's so easy to do, so funny. And you can also mix them with these uh, so they're not all white. I think it's really pretty to add some color to it. It makes it look more authentic, I think. So, like I said, I got these at Walmart quite a while ago. I'll stick a gourd there. And we'll just put that there, and then we'll put this. And he has all of his pumpkins ready to sell. I just think that's so cute. Now, what you can also do is glue some pumpkins on here, and I think I may, because he's got his little stand set up, and he is telling everybody, hey, I've got pumpkins, I've got gourds, whatever it is you want, I'm selling it for fall. I just, I think this is really cute. And it's so easy to make. It's so customizable. Like I said, if you just want to make 
your truck blue, your truck green, whatever color you want your truck, no problem. You can do it. And I think I'll put some of this little Dollar Tree one right here. And I think I'll put another one. It's always good to kind of put threes, I think. Okay. And do we want to put anything else back here? I think I will. I'll put this one right here. Okay, let's take a look at okay, it. Okay, here it is. You can even put lights in this if you wanted. Like put some little fairy lights down in there on a timer and put it around the truck. I think that would be so pretty. But this is adorable and it's so easy to make and very inexpensive. But here's your little Dollar Tree Red Truck Fall Decor DIY. I just love it. Let me bring it up close. He just looks so happy like he is just bringing tons of pumpkins and gourds to everybody. Um, I'll go ahead and put it in my utility room since I haven't started decorating for fall yet. I'm going to very soon uh, and let you see it in there. But I'll have everything linked in the description box that you might be interested in. My shirt, my glue gun, top cash bag, anything like that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit your notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for a wonderful Dollar Tree Fall Halloween haul and a planner using Dollar Tree stickers and maybe washi, I'm not sure. So let's go into my utility room and see how this looks. I'll be right back. Guys, setting in my utility room with my other fall DIYs, I really am happy with how that turned out. Now, if you would elevate that box on those Jenga blocks, it would look like it was actually up off the road, you know, that I tried to create. But I think it's still really precious. But you won't forget to do that to yours. But I'll give you a look up close. Dollar Tree is absolutely killing it with their craft items. You can make such a high-end looking fall piece of decor for your home. It is unbelievable. But I hope you make this and I hope you were able to find the red truck. There's so many things that you can do with that precious little red truck. And like I said, if you want to paint your truck green, blue, uh, any color. You could paint it black and put accents on it. It would be gorgeous. So until next time, bye guys.